South African government has withdrawn its support for the Miss South Africa pageant. Uh, this comes after the pageant organizers disregarded government's plea to withdraw from the Miss Universe event taking place in Israel. The decision came after growing calls for the reigning Miss South Africa, Lalela Mswane, to boycott the pageant that is scheduled to take place in Eilat on the 12th of December. Local beauty pageant organizers have been adamant that the recently crowned Miss South Africa should go to the event, arguing the Miss Universe pageant is not a politically inspired event. To give us their thoughts on this, we're joined via Zoom by Bram Hanekom, board member of the Africa for Palestine. A uh, very good morning to you, Bram. Thank you so much for making the time. What are your thoughts uh, about um, South Africa withdrawing its support, the government withdrawing its support for the Miss South Africa pageant? Good morning and uh, thank you so much. Um, South Africa is doing the right thing. Uh, South Africa is uh, representing uh, our governments, rep representing our people. Um, it's respecting our history and our past. Uh, some of the listeners might uh, be aware that in 1976, nine uh, participants in the world Miss World uh, Beauty pageant withdrew because apartheid South Africa was participating in that tournament, uh, in that pageant. The year after, uh, apartheid South Africa was banned from participating. Uh, so, I mean, I, I think it would have been a real travesty for our government and for our people uh, to be misrepresented by a private company that's going to a, uh, a tournament in defiance of our diplomatic position, the position of our government and the vast majority of our people. What do you think it will mean should Lalela decide to partake in the competition? Well, I think we must stop picking on Lalela. I, I think that the CEO and owner of Miss South Africa trademark and company, uh, Stephanie Well, is the person who has been speaking to the media. Um, we're not really sure what uh, Lalela uh, thinks, and we look forward to hearing her own voice because it seems right now that the owner of that company is speaking on her behalf. Um, according to the website of Miss South Africa, um, Miss South Africa gets four million rands worth of prizes for winning. Uh, and uh, Miss South Africa is a law graduate, so she shouldn't be in desperate need of money and uh, so vulnerable and unable to speak. So we look forward maybe to hearing her herself speak, not uh, the CEO and owner of the brand. Um, what it means uh, if she proceeds is that she uh, would be representing herself and a private company uh, and a company with a really horrific history. Some people might not be aware, but during apartheid, uh, Miss South Africa would go and compete in these global beauty pageants uh, and black South Africans, Indian South Africans or people of colored descent uh, would need to go as Miss South Africa South. I mean, sorry, Miss Africa South. So there'd be two contestants. There'd be a Miss South Africa um, that's this uh, company that Stephanie Well owns currently, that same brand that's existed for over 60 years. Uh, and black people would have to go as Africa South and participate as inferior people in the same context. Uh, so, you know, if she proceeds to uh, participate and if the entire team of Miss South Africa proceed to participate, uh, they reduce themselves into total and utter irrelevance. Uh, we expect that they have no choice but to withdraw and if they proceed, uh, that will be the end of Miss South Africa. So, having said everything you said, you just said. What What are your thoughts about the organisers arguing that is, this is not a politically inspired event? When they do the uh, interviews in these pageants, they ask a variety of questions. They ask questions about politics. They ask questions about human rights. Uh, if you uh, have tweeted something racist, you'll essentially be forced to withdraw. It's pretty racist to be going to apartheid Israel. It's pretty racist to be saying, ah, oh, let's talk about peace between one terribly oppressed people and uh, the oppressor. You know, the situation in, in Palestine um, under the Israeli occupation and the ongoing settlements and ongoing land grabs has been described by our president as an apartheid. Uh, we've re downgraded relations. We've re removed our South African ambassador. Uh, for two years, we've had no ambassador in Israel because our country is taking a principled position. And only about three weeks ago, our most senior diplomat in Ramallah, Palestine, got manhandled and abused by Israeli police. And many of us have seen the video 
uh, of the head of mission for Palestine's uh, South African diplomatic office being uh, abused by Israeli police. So if they decide to uh, say it's not political, um, then they should stop calling themselves ambassadors and should stop saying they represent South Africa, but rather they're uh, from a private company or club or society that represents uh, Morningside. Of course, we live in an era of social media and uh, conversations, uh, political, economic and social, take place there as well. And there's just been this sen growing sentiment on social media that it was irresponsible of the organizers to give Lalela responsibility of having to choose for herself if she wants to go through or not. What do you think about this development? No, absolutely. Look, everybody's... Um Everybody experiences um, an element of um, disempowerment. You may be a journalist and they are editors. You may be an editor, but they're owners. Uh, Miss South Africa, the brand and company is owned by Stephanie Well, who owns uh, Nine Squared, that bought the uh, rights and the uh, pageant's trademark of Miss South Africa. If she's the one paying Miss South Africa monthly, if she's the one organizing the schedule, if she's the one mentoring and in their own words on their website, grooming and guiding the, um, the, 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 the Miss South Africa's and turning them into, quote them, turning them into good ambassadors for the country. This is what they had on the website before they edited, because by the way, in the last two weeks, they've removed all the sponsors of their website <laughs> and they've changed the terms they use on their website. They're panicking. Um, but I mean, if, you, if you're going to say as the owner of that company that we think you should go or we'll support you, you make the right decision. I don't know whether she has much decision. She might need to resign entirely from Miss South Africa and stop getting paid by Miss South Africa to be truly independent enough to make a decision to not go. So with all said and done, what do you think is going to happen in the end? I think they, South they seem adamant. They seem adamant that they want to send her through. They, they're going to have to withdraw. I think they'll withdraw because, in reality, um, they've totally destroyed their brand. Lalela herself, uh, it's not fair on her what they're doing. Um, you know, what's the real, the, the most disgusting part about it is Stephanie Well and Nine Squared were going to let Lalela go to Israel and say it was her choice, distancing themselves essentially from responsibility. They were going to say it's her choice. And then she goes off to Israel, comes back next year, there's a new Miss South Africa, and their company continues to earn lots of money and continues to profit and doesn't look bad when it is them who are going, because Lalin is not going to go alone. Make no mistake, Miss Stephanie Well and a whole team of Miss South Africa are going. So we don't go and say, right, we want Sia Kualisi to withdraw. We'll say, no, we want the Springboks to withdraw. We're saying that Miss South Africa the organization must withdraw because Miss South Africa seems to actually be a spokesperson for this private entity of Miss South Africa that Stephanie Well owns. Now, you can't blame the spokesperson for an entity for the decision the entity makes. The entity must make the decision. And she's already indicated that if Miss South Africa, the organization or company says we are not going to go, she will fully respect that decision. So to us, it's very clear that Stephanie Wells making the decisions and using uh, Lalela as a, as, a, as a BE front or a spokesperson and really, really abusing her because Stephanie Well thought that we wouldn't know her name. Stephanie Well thought that we would pick on a young, uh, ambitious 25-year-old woman from KZN when actually we know who's who. Stephanie Well owns Miss South Africa, the company, and Miss South Africa is being paid by this company. Ram Hanekom, thank you so much for making the time to speak to us this morning. Thank you so much for having me. Have a nice day.